In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to batch process images with Earphone View. So once you've installed the software, this is what it looks like. And then to perform the batch processing operation, you should go to File, Batch Conversion, slash Rename. And you get this screen, which has lots of different functions in it. The first thing to do is to add the files that you want to process. So I have them here in the pictures folder. And I've got this folder of images that should be resized. So I'm just going to select them all. And click add. Or I could click add all. The next thing to do is decide where the processed images will be saved. So you need to look at output directory. Now, when you first start it, when you first start using the program, it may well say something like a, an unfamiliar temp directory in here. So most likely you'll probably want to save them quite near to where they are already. So you can click this use current look in directory. So this will put the path of, of the original images into here. And then you can just create a subdirectory within this existing directory to save the processed images. So I can just type smaller in here and you can see that the smaller folder doesn't already exist, but it's okay just to type any name you want into there and the software will create that folder when it saves the processed files. Now this screen will enable you to make lots of different types of changes to the file. There are lots lots of different types of processing you can do within here. Um, you could just change the the format of the files. So they are JPEGs at the moment. You could change them to another file format um, or you could rename them um, or you could resize them or you could crop them. And all those options are available from the screen. So at the moment we've got a batch rename selected. So to start off, I, I should show you how to um, how to change the names of these files. These files are really well named, so they probably don't need changing, but you might have some files from your um, digital camera which are quite unhelpful names. So here's the batch rename settings. Now the default is just this. Um, if, if you use this, then they would be renamed image 1, image 2, image 3, and so on. But you can click on options to get some more advanced choices. So if you type here into the naming pattern, if you were to type dollar sign n, that would that would keep the original file name, but then enable you to add something onto the end. So if you put dollar sign n in there and then kept the numbers on, then you'd get the the original file name with numbers on the end. Alternatively, if you've got, you might have a set of file names um, that where a particular piece of text appears a lot. So you could type that, that piece that appears in here a lot and then replace it with something else, something that's more useful. So there are some fairly advanced choices in there that you can use for renaming. So once you have this renaming part set up and you've got it set on batch rename, if you were just to click start batch, then these would be renamed and the renamed files would be saved inside the smaller folder. So these files would remain unchanged. You just have a new set of files with different names inside this folder. Now I'm going to look at batch conversion. So if we click batch conversion, this settings area becomes available. So I could just use this drop drop down list and select a different file format and then I could change all of these files from JPEGs into something else. Of course I would I would get a copy of those new files. It never overwrites the original files. I would just get a new set of files inside this folder and they would be a different format. So that's quite simple just to change the format. Um, if you want to do something more advanced, you can click on this Use Advanced Options and that becomes available. And then click this button 
And in here, you've got the crop and resize options. So on resize, I could just tick that there. And then you can set the new size. You can set it in pixels. Just enter, enter the amount in here. Or you can use, instead of using height and width, you can use the long side and the short side. Just check those to tell it which one you want to use. And you can use pixels or you can use centimeters or inches. Just check the one that you want to use. Probably the easiest one, the one that you'll probably want the most, is to resize as a percentage. So just click that and then enter how much you would like to change the size in percentage. And you could click this use resample function to get a better quality. It might take a little bit longer. Um, and this, this checkbox here ensures that the proportions are maintained when the size is changed. If you want to crop the image, then you would click, deselect that and click crop, and then enter here the width and height that you would like to keep. And you can see it's, it's set here to start from the top left. You could change it to another corner of the image if you wanted to. But I'm just going to do some resizing to show you. And I'm going to put in 50%. And then to create the new set of pictures with the new changes that you've added, just click on Start Batch. And then this just gives you a summary of what happened. Then you can click exit. Now if I go into my pictures to resize, I have this folder called smaller. And I have smaller versions of the images. So that's how to batch process your images with EarFone View.